how I tell guys I'm dating or a boyfriend about my hair loss. So I am a divorced woman. I have had lots of relationship experience, but the last five, six years I've been single and have been in the dating scene and only the last year I've had to date with hair loss or just wearing um, more fake hair because I did wear extensions for 13 years up until the hair loss. So I already was used to kind of dealing with wearing fake hair around men, but I'll kind of backtrack to last year. So when I first started noticing the hair loss last year, um, I was dating someone or briefly, um, nothing serious, but that's when my hair started to really come out. The whole situation with me moving, that really stressful situation when I lost patches of hair, that guy kind of noticed that something was going on, but we were not in a relationship or anything like that. So I didn't really address anything with him, but I did start dating someone after him. Now, I didn't even know myself totally what was going on. I hadn't really fully discovered the wonderful world of wigs and toppers yet. All I knew was that I couldn't wear my existing extensions anymore because I didn't have enough hair to cover it. So with that guy, I only wore a hat and a wig around him. And I know that sounds crazy. And he made a couple comments um, saying, you know, why are you only wearing a hat around me? And I just said, oh, I just really like hats. And he kind of, was a little questionable about it, but then he just accepted it. And we didn't work out for other reasons, but flash forward, I finally started to last year, November, mm, October, try to find some toppers that kind of work for me. And then I started dating someone new. And there wasn't an issue. I had a brown topper on, which was very similar to my own hair color, because at first I only wore uh, toppers that were similar to my own because I hadn't ventured out yet. And this one guy, I was a little nervous about like, you know, can he see? I was obsessing over the fact, like the tip of the topper right here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I bet he can see it. He never could. But one time um, we kissed and he like grabbed my, my head and it moved a little bit. And I was like, oh my gosh. But again, nothing ever happened with that. That, really, that fizzled out, but I never told him. So this year has 2019. I have probably dated six people um, for like, you know, several dates or more into, you know, enough to where they would see me multiple times with different hair. So the first guy earlier this year, such a sweet guy. I wish I liked him, such a sweet guy. But we went out several times and I kind of just ended up getting a friend vibe at the end, but I, we were on a walk around my neighborhood and I did tell him about my hair loss because he started bringing up something about balding as a man. And I said, well, that's funny you mention it because you know, last year when I got off birth control, I started noticing thinning of my hair and then I had a really stressful situation and started losing patches of hair. So, you know, it's like I started to wear um, big extensions is kind of what I told him, like big versions of extensions and wigs and things like that. And, you know, I said, now I love it. I change my hair all the time. And he said, you know what? I, I thought you would like changing your hair on me because he's like, I thought you were brunette and then blonde and short. He goes, but I just couldn't tell. And that guy was so sweet, never said anything mean about it or anything like that. So love that, like that guy was so sweet. That really gave me the confidence to start telling guys from then on. And I think there's a few things to remember. The first thing I think is confidence. I think if I was to say, okay, there's this thing, I'm really insecure about it and I feel really ugly and I don't know how you're gonna feel, I don't want you to break up with me, blah, blah, blah. I think if you say it like that, that automatically kind of puts the other person um, like with a guard up a little bit and it makes them feel a little bit uncomfortable. But if you approach it with confidence, even if you're not, even if you have to fake it, maybe saying, hey, like I have this thing, I went, it's, it's medical, I went through some health stuff, my hair, some hair fell out, I wear whatever you want to say, whether it's bigger extensions or wigs or whatever, I wear helper hair and my life is great now. Like I get to switch it up all the time. Like, I think when you say it like that, that person's like, oh, okay, like which she went through a hardship and now she's wearing fake hair and she rocks it and she owns it and it's kind of cool. So that first guy really gave me the confidence to start telling every guy since then. And I already was really open about it with like friends and family and I people at my uh, school I worked at knew. So I just in general was way more open and I get not everyone's story is going to be that way, but I just want to share what I did that really helped for me. Uh, the next guy, he was someone that I'd actually known for a while and he had seen me, I've known him for years and so I probably could tell I changed my hair all the time, but he came in town and we had kind of had this long standing thing and 
told him about, just was like, yeah, I just got up birth control, stressful situation, lost some hair. It was like, that's why I changed my hair all the time. And he was like, cool. And like, that was the end of the conversation. There was nothing else. So it wasn't a big deal either. That did also didn't work out for other reasons. Um, then there was a couple other guys I had dated. I did tell, and again, just kind of had more of a friend vibe, wasn't interested in. And then, um, in the summer, there was another guy and he was really sweet about it. And his big thing was ask, he kept asking me like, what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? And I'm really into hiking, really into sports, not as much into teaching at my job. Um, and you know, I think he could tell there was something else because I didn't like share it. And then finally I was like, well, I was like, I'm really involved in this community and I'm really passionate about hair loss. And I just started showing him all these pictures and all sorts of things, you know, all, my page, my YouTube, all these things that are really important to me that I've really poured into the last year. And he just thought it was really cool. And he's like, well, he's like, I'm balding. He's like, so I don't know what, like why I would be frustrated or be turned off by a girl. He's like, you know, you can't help it. And, you know, it just, again, was so refreshing to have a guy just be like so accepting of what I went through. And I think he could tell that there was something else I was maybe not sharing with him. And also, I'm shocked that he didn't even notice that I was wearing brown, black, blonde hair around him all the time. Um, but there was a more recent guy that I was dating. It just ended this past week, so I'm just not really interested in that type of a way. But again, like I wore, played sports with him, went to church with him, went out, you know, several events with him, and I wore short hair, dark hair, long hair, and he never brought it up, but I finally brought it up and just told him um, that, you know, this was a big part of my life. And I kind of said, you know, you know how people who have cancer go through chemotherapy and they lose most of their hair and then they have to wear wigs and all that. Well, I told him, you know, I went through something last year. I did not lose that extreme of my hair, but I did have some thinning and loss to where I needed to wear help hair. And now it's just turned into this lifestyle. And he also was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool that you've taken something and just turn it around. So every experience I've had has been really positive. Now, I think it's a really good way. If you tell a guy about your hair loss, it's a really good way to weed out guys that probably shouldn't be in your life anyway. So if a guy was to say, oh my gosh, you're not attractive or that's too weird for me, or I can't handle seeing fake hair all over the house. Any one of those things, that should automatically weed out someone in your life. And um, when it comes to about when you should tell someone, people kind of ask me like, well, at what point? I don't bring it up on the first date. I think it also depends on how well you know the person. A couple of these guys I'd known for years before, so it was a little different telling them. But for other guys that I didn't know, I maybe waited about like four dates or so, probably around four or five dates. And then kind of to the point where they were like, I could tell they were already trying to kind of want to get a little bit exclusive. And I feel like someone should know this about me before we even kind of have those conversations because it is a big part of my life. And this should not be a deal breaker for someone. If my hair loss is a deal breaker for someone, they're not the right person for me. But I think earlier rather than later, but again, it depends on what you're comfortable with. And, you know, I think it's okay to feel insecure about it still, but I think when you share it with someone, um, someone new that you're dating, I think it is important to have confidence in, hey, this is what I'm going through. I'm owning it. I'm rocking it. I'm dealing with it. And I just need someone to come alongside me and support me. And if you kind of word it in that way, that person I think feels more comfortable going into it and is able to kind of help you along your journey. Um, if you have any more questions about what you should say to a guy, how to approach it, let me know down below and I can address those. I don't really know all the types of questions someone wants to know, but again, I have been divorced. I am divorced, I've been married, and I've been in very serious relationships. And so I was already used to navigating the extension world with somebody, but now it's just a little a bit of an upgrade and there's wigs and toppers all over the place. So just leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want me to address any concerns, but thank you guys for listening and I'll see you.